see we are receiving data now this data is no ordinary data see in the code we didn't wrote anything called this string where it is coming from see we in the code on the arduino we just initialize a string then we initialize the serial port we set the timeout for the read command and then we are reading the string and from where the string is coming from over the uart port now we go to the another library now this is the micro c for pick so we have a pick connected as well and this is what we are receiving over there learning microcontrollers tutorial on pick to arduino so pick is sending this data over the uart port and we are receiving this on the arduino so this is from pick to arduino communication taking place here so this is the pick and this is the arduino and the wiring is here we just need one wire that is from the arduino's tx to the uh, sorry picks tx to the arduino's rx and ground to ground so this is giving us this result over here so guys welcome to learning microcontrollers in this video i will show you how you can interface a pic 16 f 7 and an arduino uno so we'll be sending text messages from an arduino to the pic or from the pic to the arduino in this video this is the first tutorial of the series we will only be sending data from pic to the arduino using the uart port so let's get started so guys this over here is our arduino uno this over here is the pic 16 f 7 a microcontroller having 40 pins it's a dip version and so let's get started so guys now remember we are using the uart port you may use the gpio pins you may use the uh, spi or i square c port as well but right now we will be using the uart port to send data from pic to the arduino a text message and then we will use the serial monitor of the arduino to display that over there that whatever the pic is sending will be displayed on the serial monitor of the arduino now guys see for the for this purpose we need to connect the pix tx pin of the uart port to the rx pin of the arduino uno only one wire is needed to do this communication and the other wire will be the ground wire so total two wires are required so let's do the connections so ground will go to the ground of the arduino they must share the common ground and now remember that on the pic 16 f 7 a the tx pin is c6 that is pin number 25 so this will go to the rx pin of the arduino uno that is this pin you may use a software serial library as well but that comes with its complication but for this communication i will recommend you only go for the hardware pins if you want more hardware than arduino do or arduino mega they have like four hardware ports so i will be using this one pin zero so tx of pick will go to the rx of the arduino this is the only connection that we need to establish a communication between the both microcontrollers so whatever is received on the arduino that we will program both the microcontrollers in such a way that pick will send a text arduino will receive the text and then it will display it on the on its serial terminal so this is it so let me introduce you to the hardware before we move on to the programming so guys this over here is the hardware this is our pic 16 f 7 a this one and there you can see the arduino uno they both are connected as per only two wires you can see are connected the ground and the power or sorry uh, and the tx of the pick to the rx and the ground of the arduino that's all the connections you need now let's get to the programming we will need both the softwares the micro c for pick so this is our micro c for pick let me zoom in so you guys can see better and we will also need the arduino ide to program the receiver end as well so we have to program both things so i also open the arduino ide so let it open let's first write the code for the pick so for the pick we have to send a text over the UART port and then we will receive that text to the Arduino. Now this is micro C for PIC version 7.6.0. Uh, you can download the latest version from the official website. You may follow my lecture in which I have shown you how to download and install this. Please go through that if you have any problem. Click on new, new project. This window will pop up, new project wizard. Click on next, write the name of the project. Okay, pick to Arduino.com or written tutorial by learning microcontrollers. So this is it. Now guys, this is the path where your files will be created and select the microcontroller. We have pic 16 f 7 a and the crystal I have at pin number 13 or 14 is 20 megahertz. Click on next and finish. So guys, first of all, save your work. Click on save to save it. Now we do the programming. Since we are using the UART port, so we will initialize the UART port. Go to the right in the micro e libraries, expand it. System libraries, expand it and at the bottom you have this UART. Check mark this expand it here you have this command uart1 init double click on it this window pops up this one copy it paste it in the one time loop like this now guys give some initialization delay 
you can give any delay you want i will give a delay of 1000 or 100 is fine this delay doesn't matter in the newer micro c versions in the older versions it used to matter because there was a possibility that the command may not get initialized correctly so it's not long no longer that complete so we only have uart port for this project we are just establishing a communication from pic to arduino so that's all we need so now we go for a forever loop right on while one forever loop starts here and here it delete this now inside the forever loop you start writing your code now go to the right again in the uart library you have this command called uart1 write text double click on this this is the command uart write text this command is used to send a text over the uart channel text means a string only a string can be sent now you may write any string you want to send so uh, whatever you want to write just write inside i write learning microcontrollers okay that is the string i will send and after that i give some space so there will be an empty space and then we write here another string you may write a long string it will not be an issue for an arduino to read okay we write here tutorial on pick to arduino comms another space and in the center we write end okay that's all now this is the text we write now also give the safety to the text in case the serial buffer is empty only then write the text so this is the command uart1 tx ideal this command makes sure that your text will only be written if the buffer is empty if the buffer was not empty then there will be some rag back distorted values being sent so use this command for clearer messages this will also work but it may have some rag packed values so now this now this code will be very fast like it will send data at a very fast speed and we might not be able to read it on the serial terminal to slow down the speed we use a delay here just give a delay i give a delay of delay ms like 500 after every 500 half a second it will send once this text okay that's all i build this code okay it's built i build this again okay it's built now we go to the picket 3 programmer tool check the picket 3 if it's connected successfully okay found found picket 3 erase the code if there is any code inside it already wait erasing device done now right to go to the file import hex file this is the file we just created click on write okay the new file is being written okay uh, it is being written once it's written we go to the arduino IDE to write the arduino side that's a receiver side code now for the receiver side i open that okay this is arduino IDE. click on file new new sketch new sketch pops up close this one okay this is a new sketch before you do you do anything else first of all save your work go to file and save write the name pick to arduino com tutorial by lm okay this is a name i wrote wait okay here we go now we will start writing the code for the arduino you may use a chat gpt because chat gpt also generates uh, perfect codes so i will write the code for your understanding to remove these two comments this is the one lab one time loop and this is a forever loop that is what these comments say okay now above this since uh, we are just gonna send the data over the serial terminal so we write here serial or oh, we are only gonna receive the data i write serial dot begin this is the command to initialize the uart port of the arduino uno and the port it should be same as on the micro c now remember on the micro c our board rate is 9600 now same board rate will be on the arduino else the communication will not work same board rate that's perfect okay since we only have a, a communication a pick connected to this uh, microcontroller so that is the only thing we need now we go to the forever loop now we have to read the text coming from the uh, pick 16 fa 7 a now we need a variable a string variable you can initialize the variable inside the loops as well in arduino ide or you may do it over here so i will do it at the top string received okay this is a string which will receive the variable coming over the pick over the uart port from the pick so we write received okay just copy paste this so spellings should not be different 
Okay, we just make it rec. That will be better because it will be too long. Rec is equals to serial. This is the command to read the data coming of the UR port read string and then these two brackets like this. Now the problem with this command is that it will read the string coming over the serial channel but it will wait like unlike Arduino in case of sorry in case of micro C it asks you for how many times you want to like uh, keep on trying to read the string or is there any delimiter like in case I show you in the micro C the command I show you here read command for the UART port okay where is micro C okay yeah, there there you have this read text command now take a look here this command now here you have this it will read the text in this char array of char which is a string and then it will look for ok until ok is found it will keep on reading and then it will try 10 times here you don't have any such thing now we if we go to the arduino this do not give you an option of a delimiter so it will keep reading it will keep reading until time out so this in our case will hang your code you may try it it may not hang but as per my experience this will hang your code so to overcome this we need to give the time out delay good thing is we can give the time out delay i write here another command called serial dot set time out or any i say like 250 like it will only wait for 250 millisecond if the data is not available it will leave it it will not try to read it so there will be no forever loop like it will not wait forever it will not keep reading forever until timeout it will wait only for 250 millisecond and after that it will move on so in this way our code will not hang so you have to use this command in this case or you may try without it but as per my experience it will not work so the next thing is to just display the received data to display the received data use this command serial dot print uh, we write any like uh, stuff uh, like okay we do not need anything here we just display it as it is serial dot print ln but it should display it should display this whatever is in this variable that is a string so it will display it directly like this so whatever is received it will display it. now here you should not use a delay because it is just receiving the data the delay of the transmitter is enough for this so we have a delay over there that only sends data after half a second then it will only receive after half a second so this is it guys this is a code for the arduino now go to the tool select your board if it's connected okay it's on comp 12 i select it and then arduino uno yes it's selected i click on verify first we verify if there is any error check okay done compiling no error i click on upload okay 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 done uploading okay it's uploaded okay remember one thing once you are uploading the code you have to disconnect these two wires because they are used for the uploading as well so the tx that is pin number 25 will go to the rx that is this pin this over here and the ground we just connect the ground to the ground of the arduino like this okay now it's good now i power up the picket 3 using the picket or you may use the arduino as well for powering up so i use just the arduino one two three and four okay this is here we go now we go to, to the terminal so we open the serial terminal tools serial terminal here 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 you go now take a look here we are receiving the data that is coming from the pick learning microcontrollers tutorial on pick to arduino comms and c now it is sending data after half a second pick is sending the data arduino is receiving the data now this technique is very useful or oh, you only need one wire one tx to rx that's all you need remember now this is very useful if you are interfacing different type of microcontrollers in a project or if you are integrating your made system to an system made by someone using an arduino or someone made by pick in the next video i will show you its inverse like if you want to send data from arduino to pick so that will be just an inverse so we will also i will also show you that so guys this is it i hope you guys learned something from this video if you have any questions please do ask so we'll see you in the next video goodbye until then